Well, retired generals in the UPDF have put President Museveni on pressure and they want his son, General Mohozi Kanedugaba, to face the law in the court martial. <music> Bobby Wine has revealed President Museveni's plan to crown his son, General Mohozi, as the next president of Uganda. Stand by for the details. <music> The Buzz UG. I'm back with the latest update. Subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. Now, former UPDF commander, retired General Mugisha Muntu, has said that General Mohozi Kanedugaba must face the law to show the entire soldiers in the UPDF that discipline is very important in the force. He explains that a number of UPDF soldiers have been court-martialed over making political statements. He gave an example of General David Sejusa, the former coordinator of the intelligence agencies, who was court-martialed over allegations that there was an attempt to assassinate top UPDF generals to pave way for General Mohozi Kanedugaba to succeed his father as president of Uganda. Other generals who have been court-martialed include Lieutenant General Henry Tumukunde. Now, Kano Bogere Makanga, the former UPDF representative in parliament, also said that countrywide, soldiers are not allowed to participate in partisan politics, including commenting on international relations, insisting that General Mohozi broke the laws of the army. While well, he advised President Museveni that dropping General Mohozi as commander land forces while he still holds his position as presidential advisor on special operations is not enough. It should be remembered that in his apology, President Museveni explained that he promoted Muhozi to the rank of full general because he has done a lot for the country even though he made a mistake on Kenya. <music> Meanwhile, the president of NUP, His Excellency Bobby Wine, says President Museveni plans to retire his son, General Muhozi Kanedugaba, from the army and crown him the next president of Uganda. Bobby Wine has called upon all change-seeking Ugandans to stand on their feet and resist this plan, describing it as madness. Now, in his own words, he said, I appeal to the people of Uganda to master whatever energy they have and resist this madness. I have previously warned against this and it's unveiling before our eyes. We must stop it. There you go. His Excellency Bobby Wine's statement right there for you. <music> And now the biggest talk on the streets of Kampala and social media, Ugandans think that the country is headed into tough times. One of influential Ugandans on social media, Ndaula Stanley, said, On my mind, something fishy, scary, and he thought of, unheard of, is cooking. We may not be the same again. In the meantime, tighten your belts. Actually, he's not alone. Many Ugandans think something terrible is coming up for Uganda. Anyway, that's the talk in the country and uh, I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG and what you have to do, subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo aka Fula and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.